There we go. And Hi guys. It's Salina Jane Dornan here at the Main Street Studio and uh, welcoming you to our weekly uh, Art Talk. Eufaula Art Talk right here in Eufaula and we meet here weekly to interview our local artists that have um, contributed to our art culture here in this area. So as I'm waiting for some people to jump on, I'm just going to recap that we recently had our uh, Yellow Submarine art show and it was so much fun. If you uh, have a chance to stop by the studio, we have all the art here on the wall along of course with our winners. Um, uh, congratulations to Glenna McBride who won Best of Show that was sponsored by OG&E. So we still have things going on here. October 31st, we're planning to do a children's uh, pageant. It's the Rainbow Pageant. We're going to have it out in the park uh, so we can um, uh, adhere to our um, social distancing. And uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So be watching for information on that. And we're going to continue to have these interviews throughout, I think, the rest of the year. We have a lot of great artists uh, on board. Uh, but enough of all that, enough of me, I want to introduce you to a wonderful lady, and I want to make sure I get her name just right, make sure, I, you know, it's like, you, you have a, a fancy last name. My doctor calls me Jean, <laughs> Jean Lapin. <laughs> All right, so we're going to meet Jean Lepin. <laughs> Everybody, welcome. She does some great art. I'm going to switch the camera on her. Hey, Jean. Thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, you know, um, you have been around the Arts Council for quite a while. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you do a lot of stuff, and we, we want you to know, first off, how much we appreciate all the work that you do for us. I'm going to zoom in on you a little bit so we can see you better. Yay, there you are. <laughs> so tell me, uh, yeah, tell me about your name. It really isn't French. Where does that come from? My husband. Your husband? <laughs> Is he French? <laughs> now, we've no. joked about it before, so anyway. So, Arts Council. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So why do you feel it's so important to have an Arts Council? Because you've been on the board for a long time. It's, yeah. um, it's a way to bring artists together, and you can feed off one another. You get ideas from one yeah. another, and you get to share, and it's, it's just very enjoyable. Yeah. It's a good little, it's a good little family. It I is. Think. You become a family, and, mm -hmm. uh, you do. and you kind of patting each other's backs and, and pushing you forward. Uh, so yes. I ask everybody this, what does art mean to you? What does art mean to me? Well, just look around. It's, it's beautiful. It's um, relaxing <laughs> to, to some, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> Others, not so much. <laughs> But it, it's just, it's a way of putting who you are out there. Yeah. Without, awesome. you know, putting you out there. Well, we're going to be looking at some of your art today and um, driftwood. That's one that's, of them. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that you do. And I've seen a lot of your different um, uh, pieces. Mm -hmm. So you do, you like to just create from that. Where, where do you get your vision for that? When do you just see it? When you see the, or you just just the starts creating picture in the frame there. That's what it looks like on the beach. Just okay. Piles of wood. I'm gonna flip this around so people can see that. Ah, okay. Go ahead. Tell me more. And you're just walking along, and you see something in there, and you think, oh, that's kind of interesting. That's different pick it up, take it home, and it sits there and looks at you, and one day you just say, oh, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. The one yeah. over to your right, your right, yeah, yeah. The, that lady there, um, 
she just looks like a lady sitting there. <laughs> and, you know, we dressed her up a little bit and put some jewelry on her. And I see she's missing her necklace, but that's okay. I want to take it from another angle. The angle that I have it almost looks like, here we go. I had a good shot of my mask in there a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, where do we have another one? Okay, tell me about this big piece. The big piece, I haven't a clue. I, I don't understand most of this because that is all about dead things, and I'm not into that <laughs> kind of thing, but that's what it came out to be. I just start with a piece of wood and then this adds and that adds and next thing I know I'm done. So the, it kind of just comes to life like there's different almost different figure, uh, uh, figures in there mm -hmm. you can see different faces mm -hmm. that's pretty amazing it's just it's just kind of fun. You said it's about dead things but it comes to life yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a zombie piece there we go <laughs> I just named your piece <laughs> Okay. No, it's just, it's cool. I see all kinds of things in it. All right, and then we have uh, this little piece here. That's really interesting. I love the way that you use the, um, the different kind of stones and uh, shell pieces. Oh, it's kind of hard to get this whole thing in here, guys. I, bear with me while I'm shaking all over the place here. But I just want you to see these pieces. And these will be on display here at the studio, so you guys are welcome to stop by here. We are open. And they're for sale. And they're all for sale. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna get you back on here and see if I don't lose my camera. Okay, all right. So what else, what other kind of uh, art do you do? You do some paintings. I, I do think. some paintings. Yeah, you but. did the, uh, oh yeah. That, okay, we're gonna that try freaky not eye to get up you. There. there we go. Yeah, this that was one. what you entered for the, uh -huh. yeah. I that called it the Eye of God, so. And then, go. well, you, it's down there's another picture up there on the top, the sunset. Oh, the sunset one. Okay, well, we'll get that one before we close out of here. That's I don't want to jiggle around my camera and too And I don't more. know what I'm doing before I do it. I just start with bare canvas or piece of wood or whatever and Oh, this goes here and that goes there, and okay. Did you have any kind of education, any art training, or you um, just just mm -hmm. went with it? Mm -hmm. That's that's really interesting. You know, I I've always been so envious of people that can do that, and uh, Glenna kept encouraging me to do the art show, and it, it was what we were talking about. I did my my very first painting ever, and it was very stressful for me yeah. because <laughs> I am so. <laughs> OCD. It was like I needed everything to be just perfect, and uh, it's just me out not a bit. perfect. That, yeah, it and see, not that's what everybody keeps There's saying. There's no such thing as a straight line. That's good. That's good. Well, see, for me, that was the that was my hardest part. <laughs> so in, in life, you don't see straight lines. That's right. You don't see perfection. Yeah. You just take a look around, and it's there. Well, you know, and that's why we do this is to encourage people because there are people out there that, that may be interested or wanting to start or think that they can't do it. And um, I, you know, it was kind of thrilling even though I think for me being the first piece, you know, but I did it because I want to encourage people to, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. you say, there is, it shouldn't be. It, you just have to kind of let yourself come out in it, you know, and, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know. Where do you, where did you get your inspiration to start doing uh, art, painting, even creating your pieces? I haven't a clue. Really? It was just there. Just life. Yeah. Just, just, just yeah. yeah. I was looking for something to do and there it was. That's just great. Real simple. Yeah. No big secrets. And that's how it should be, right? Mm -hmm. That's how mm -hmm. it should be with art. It should it just be. just happens. And then being in here, people, you gotta come to the council and look at this stuff. Just, you just come in and you get the feeling of, of artists and what they've done. And it's just a pleasurable thing. I love being in here. So is this, a, is this a hobby for you, or is it something you do as a, for a living, or? 
I'd really be starving then. <laughs> no, it's just it's just a fun thing to do. Yeah, the hobby. That's good. So tell me about yourself. Like your you, you did you grow up around here? Where'd you? No, I grew up in Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, I was born in Missouri. <laughs> however you want to say that, and. Um, ended up in Michigan most of my life. That's where my kids were born. Where did, what brought you to Eufaula? I could be a smart aleck and say car. <laughs> but that wouldn't be like me, would it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, what? Oh, I know why. We, we were in a, in a place in our life where things were changing. And I told my husband we had three choices. We could go here, here, or here. Oh. You know, my daughter, my other daughter, or one of my other daughters, or his sister. And his sister was here, so this is where we ended oh, up. Oh, nice. You know, we have a lot of people that move here from, out, uh, from outside that uh, feel like they're drawn because of the environment, not just because we're a tourist town, but because of the history here, uh, because of the lake. There's a lot of influence on the art that people don't realize, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, uh, I know there's a, a lot of great artists. We've talked to a lot of great artists. And just like you, with all your driftwood, you know, from the lake, from the water, you know. So, yeah. A to lot me, of it's, here. it's a God thing. And if, you know, if I was going to really say, where do I get my inspiration or whatever, God does it. I don't. It's that's just how it is. Did you do ever do art when you were a child? Mm, not, not much. No, not so much. No. Yeah. So mm. it's just kind of something that you go into. I used to write poetry and stories, things of that sort. Really? Yeah. Really. Okay. So if I asked you to quote something, could you? A memory, quote something, a poem that you wrote. A poem? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next time we're, you got to bring me a poem. We're going to read a poem. <laughs> Writing your poems, that's what we need. <laughs> hey, that's art in itself. Writing yes. is art in itself. It really is. Mm -hmm. You know, and like everything, everybody has different types of art. I mean, I feel more comfortable doing this, just talking to people, interviewing people. To me, that's... But you do it very well. Well, thank you. And that's, that's kind of an art for me where I don't feel as comfortable painting a picture. You know, <laughs> so, but... You know, in, in uh, being able to share, this is my way to be able to share art, you know, with our community mm -hmm. and to encourage people to do, you know, to just follow your heart. If you want right. to, you know, it, everyone does it differently. I mean, if you look at all the different pictures on the wall, we see all kinds of uh, different styles, uh, all and kinds of expression. And there's a story behind yeah. almost everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And exactly. that's what makes it really, really interesting. Right. Exactly. Well, if you wanted to leave any final words for any up-and-coming artists or students, what would that be? Do it. Just do it. That's good. I well, like is it. Is that a, a, a commercial? <laughs> uh, I think it was a commercial. <laughs> Wasn't that Nike or something? You just do it? I just don't know. do it. There yeah. you go. Well, Jean, thank you for being with us today, and thank you for all that you do for the community and for actually for the Arts Council. I mean, there's we do uh, a lot of events that we always need bodies. I know that you volunteer your t time to help keep the studio open, and um, hey, you know, uh, helping us plan and being on the board that's important. So, I uh, just want to tell people out there that hey, if you want to be a part of the Arts Council. Come down. come on down. Yeah, come on down. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you, Jean. Thank you so much. Who she's asking? Bring them on camera. Oh, okay. I'm just reading some of these notes. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I am going to walk around a little bit uh, as we close out. I want to show you her last um, um, art piece over here. But also, I want you to see some of these. Turn this around. See some of the artwork from the art show. Yay. Look at this, guys. You guys come down to the art studio right here on Main Street. This was uh, Jean's right here. This is Jean Le Pen. <laughs>
<laughs> you do that very well. <laughs> Gorgeous stuff here, y'all. Come on down. We'll see you next Tuesday. We have another interview. This was uh, this was our first place winner, guys, right here. And see, that's a, that's like a quilt, like a quilt, a tapestry piece. It's it's just beautiful. Anyway, who's our guest next week? Do we know off the top of our head? Uh, wait a minute. Let me see. Ruth Ann Smith. Oh, Ruth Ann Smith next week. Ooh. The cello player. Ooh, she, uh, hopefully she'll play for us. She's the cello player. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye.